Hello, welcome to Astrology Study Group, the weekly transits. And I'm going to start with Monday just because it just flows a little bit better this way. And we'll notice a few things. I, I, I want to give you some themes and um, give you a little give you a little theme to think about as we as we try to approach each day because oh I really like to try to make things more simple and give you some workable um guides to follow and use astrology you know there's so many ways to use it and if we can be aware of these cycles in a big way and in a little way i think we can make out much better so we're just about you know finishing scorpio season where, where you can see you know up over in the 11th house over here for today or it was yet actually yesterday um we have still the sun mercury and venus in Scorpio and we have the South node. So this is finishing that in-depth investigation. It's kind of that time of year where things are changing, you know, and we're in the middle of the season, you know, we're coming, you know, it's fixed and we're coming into the end of fall, yeah, the end of the autumn time, and at least in the Northern hemisphere and uh, about, you know, approaching our, our winter solstice. So halfway, you know, more than halfway through, see the sun here, and you know Mercury's ahead of the sun. It went. You, we we saw that sweep going over all that last week. And I do want to point out today, or actually yesterday. You know, be that whenever whoever's listening to this. But on Monday, the Moon moved into Leo, and I think that is also a real big, um, a real big deal because last week we had that T square. You know, though it's still there. It's still kind of leaving, but it, you know, it was so tight uh, last Tuesday. <laughs> Um, we have all of that in Scorpio opposing, you know, the North node and Uranus over there in Taurus and T squaring, um, Saturn. Okay. So Saturn was, you know, that we had the opposition and then Saturn was squaring both of those camps. So I think we even mentioned this when the moon is going to come around now, you know, it's starting yesterday and it comes into today. It's going to be going through those those degrees and um, triggering those aspects. So it's you know when it hits those middle degrees, um, it's going to start to trigger that those events again. And this is how astrology rolls. It, you know, it's a resonance, it's a frequency. So moon being a trigger, you know, the moon's a trigger, and you know it's coming around and it's coming into Leo which is great, a lot of festive stuff, but it's an upbeat trigger. And I think the, the good side might start to make a little progress with this little bit. I think last time we got the shock and the wah, wah, and it's sort of been that way all week. Um, but I think people that are on the right side of things um, are, are going to get enlivened by this, but it's going to still stir it all up again. All right, so we're going to see that, and we're going to move into Tuesday. And we see that it's moved halfway through sign. So here it's actually squaring the nodes. Mm -hmm. So Tuesday, interesting day. You know, there's a little bit more karmic stuff. You know, we have that Leo now presenting over toward Scorpio and toward, um, you know, the, the so, so what would you say? Uh, that's where things got to be excreted. So proudly <laughs> proudly get rid of you know this is kind of the the thing of like focus on really what you want and get rid of the stuff that you don't and this is you know reaffirming with um the you know with the sun and and uh, actually with venus just about ready to leave the sign of the pack here venus is at you know at that critical degree you know 29 degrees are critical degrees so so take a look at anything deep any values or things that you you once valued, you might still value, you're thinking about valuing. And again, that value is, is love and money, anything in that realm. Look at any of that, anything that really is not fitting you, um, donate to, to charity, take it to Goodwill or something. It's like, you're never gonna wear that dress again. You're not gonna put those shoes on, get rid of that hat. You know, this is a time it's like, you're not going to wear that. What are you thinking? That kind of an energy. So that's happening now. 
And as we move into tomorrow, all right, um, now we're getting into new inspiration. Venus goes in, it's going to be like, a, almost feels like a whole new, whole new ball game tomorrow. Venus, it's going to almost be like each day, it's sort of like ripping off a new page, I think, for the next several days. So we got Venus leading the pack, you know, jumping nice, you know, jumping out there into Sagittarius. Now we'll feel more inspired, new resonances. You get that, that, that mutable fire, that excitable fire. It kind of makes me think of the 528 hertz frequency. You know, it's just that higher vibration, that love, that miracle, that mitochondrial repair sort of energy. So I think if you do a little heavy lifting today or, or go back, you know, this time is quantum. So whenever you listen to this, go back with that in mind, go clean out your inner closets and then that gets ready, you know, that get, gets you ready for the new. It's like, you got to get it rid of the old couch before you can move the new one in your living room kind of a thing. <laughs> and that's what Venus uh, jumping ahead there of the pack and going into Sagittarius is all about. She was, you know, the warriors had that. She had to confront that stuff first here this time. Okay. So that's Wednesday. And let's see what else was going on. Uh, why don't you see Wednesday? Pretty much that. I mean, so, you know, the, the planet's, um, the little group here um, are are making sextiles over to Pluto as they get later degrees, right? We've got, you know, the Sun and Venus and Mercury, you know, as they were all getting past 26 degrees, you know, Venus did it first and then um, Mercury and then, you know, the Sun will do it. So it's making the nicer sextile 60 degree aspects to Pluto. All right, what's that mean? It means that I think it'll be easier to handle the depth of things because, you know, uh, to transform stuff. It's it's like, yeah, I want to get rid of this old raggy thing. God, I can't even believe I ever wore this. <laughs> Whew, that kind of an energy rather than, oh, my God, I'm so, I don't want to get rid of it. You know, it's not going to be that model inside of that. I think people will be willing to just like get rid of this crap. It's holding me back. So all those three going over Pluto in a nice way. If it were, if they were going over in a square, I wouldn't, I, I would say that you'd be like clinging on and it'd be hard, <laughs> but it's a, it's a sextile. All right. That's all that. Let's go forward. Thursday. Now we get Mercury joining Venus as it jumps into that. So now we got more communication. You know, the Mercury had its depths of finding and then analyzing. And now, you know, it's, it's, um, getting a newer you it's getting new values because it's it's like focused on fo forward moving even though mars is retrograde you know we still have these two planets moving into that area and um uh, it's it's still gonna work <laughs> it's it's just you can't stop the wheel <laughs> you know it's, the machine keeps grinding on <laughs> so this is definitely going to be a little bit more uplifting day i definitely mean i, I feel and it's going to give you an ability to kind of re start rewriting maybe new chapters in your life, a new story, a new way you tell yourself something and really strike out and get rid of the old stories. You know, this is just still, I say, little lingering of this back and forth all week. So with Mercury here, you're going to, uh, I would suggest you use this to define what you want um, and not so much of what you don't want. That's kind of happening now. I mean, even though you're going to do, be doing both, but you've sort of already gotten rid of the old things and you're now you're making room for what, what's really there. A lot of times people have an idea of what's there, but they don't zone in on it. They don't clarify it. It's like, yeah, I want a plant. Well, what kind of plant do you want? I don't know. Well, where do you need one? In that sunny window, in that shady corner. <laughs> Well, let's not put a sun-loving cactus there. <laughs> let's find something that likes shade, you know, and lives on the tropical, you know, floor. It doesn't get any sun. So this is how this is how to start working that. All right, moving on. Friday. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, the sun now is sextile in Pluto. And then it's also starting to make a trine over to Jupiter because we have, you know, the sun. Um you know, that's a water sign. And then down here, Jupiter's water sign. So interesting, you know, we have sun sextile Pluto. So shining light on, on transforming yourself and then trining over to Pluto, um, maybe helping you to, to continue to illuminate those old patterns, you know, releasing that baggage, 
that you had, you know, maybe deep ancestral wounds, you know, being with that Pluto um, while connecting with things larger than yourself. I think it's going to be like kind of a highly spiritual day or time there as well, because um, just the influence of that, you know, the sun and, and a nice harmonious relation with Pluto and trining over to, you know, Neptune and, um, you know, just past that with Neptune and then going over to uh, Jupiter, you know, and then it went to the midpoint between them and then it went to Jupiter. So we had the sun making even little minute little reflections of that as we as we edge through the week. All right. And Saturday, actually, it's going to kind of that's going to kind of linger into the whole weekend. But, you know, we, we, we can see here the sun, you know, definitely moving, you know, getting out of that. So we still are, are plunging into the depths of that. And um, it's kind of like looking at what relationships can I improve? Because we have, you know, right here, Saturday, yeah, Saturday morning, East Coast, the moon moves into Libra. So that's going to be putting a little emphasis on relationships. You know, everything else is kind of, you know, in the same here. We're thinking about what we want. And then, you know, part of what we want is, is the relationships, you know, we're not an island, there's relationships with everything and everybody around us. So I think it's important to decide what you want with those relationships of the people around you that you get to deal with, and that you have to deal with. <laughs> and if you can get to deal with them rather than have to, it becomes much nicer. And moving into Sunday. Um, it's kind of like finding the gems along the road because we know this is the moon is midway through Libra and it's just in the process of that. I think it's just be processing that. I think it's going to culminate into maybe a, some real mystical reflection. I think help it people see the, the blessings that we all have and all the things that we have to be grateful for. So as the moon, you know, goes, goes into Libra here, deeper mount, it starts to trine Saturn. So that's, that's kind of cool too, because, you know, Saturn reminds us to see the silver lining in things, you know, our life events um, and that we're all on the path. You know, we, we are all on the path. I think that's kind of sobering and I think it will kind of reach that. So it's still a really beautiful time. And we have, you know, this exact here with, with the sun and um, uh, Jupiter on Sunday. And then as we head into Monday and Tuesday, you'll see, Look at Monday. I just wanted to mention that because it's, you know, we got the sun at that critical degree. So it's like we're finishing the depths. You know, it's like the sun now going at the last bit of that. It's like, okay, it's like, the, it, okay, here's a good example. You're, you're just about ready to move. Okay. You've packed up your house. You've got all your stuff moved. You, you've cleaned, you know, and now it's like your last walk through the house before you leave. It's like, is there anything else I need? I want, you know, I got to look here before I move on. So that's, that's what this is all about. And then, um, you know, we come here next week. Well, when we meet back, we've got the moon, look at going, it's saying it goes into Scorpio and it's going to be going over that South node. So we're getting into getting that emotional release, you, you know, so it, sometimes I can't stop it because it's just one thing depends on the other, but this is important because you know, the moon finishes there, it preps you, and then you are ready to release that, or at least you should. If you don't, then things are going to take it from you. You'll be, things will be taken from people emotionally because, you know, the moon is at emotional level and the south node is where we have to release things. So if people are clinging on to stuff and here in Scorpio, you know, no, you make me happy. Don't ever leave. You make me happy. You know, anything like that is, um, uh, is is the part that is not going to be well is not going to um, work for you because that's like you're clinging you're holding on you're not realizing that the all of that is within you and not outward on somebody or something else all right so that is the week and i hope um let's just go back to today uh there we go okay so I hope that helps you with your week. Make the best of it. And we'll see you here next week. Y'all be good. Be sweet. Bye.